Patrice York. Um, you know, well, I want to get into Tupac a little bit, but I want to get into him from a perspective where, you know, people have to try to open up their mind and understand what he's done instead of judging him. You know, I search the internet, I go through the internet, I just see a lot of people talk down on Pac. Like, you know, when, and, and I believe that a lot of the people that talk down on Pac never did their research or they wasn't born in that time or it's niggas that just dislike Pac. But you, people are always going to dislike something that they don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? Like, nobody knows his history, what he comes from, what he's done, how he's fought for people. You know, people just judge off of other people's perspectives and, and what took place and what happened and how it happened when you got to understand that the media also manipulates shit too they make things seem a little worse than what they really are sometimes that's not even near the truth but so glasses malone just dropped a video called two pots of dire you know what i mean and from the perspective of the video and who shot the video and the way it was put together i thought it was dope in a filmer's perspective, as far as like from knowing Pac and knowing Orlando in a street perspective, I thought that was bullshit. And that's just me being honest. I'm a Pac fan. I grew up on Pac. I know Pac from music. I connected with him through music. I grew up on him. Um, a lot of people don't understand that when you have, when you join different entities, and you go through different things throughout the industry. Pac was going through that. But at the same time, he was a genius because he could change his ways wherever he went. He was a chameleon. He could be here. And whatever way the environment was there, he could be that way in the environment. If shit got crazy over here, he could get crazy with the environment. There was never no one or the other. He could be every way in every perspective and be strategic about his moves, and I, I, I feel like he's a fucking genius, you understand? Like, he did so much for black people just by creating a platform. He was so, his platform where he was able to speak to people and let people hear what he had to say, he kind of set the tone for rappers a long time ago for, you know, political rappers, because you got to understand there was political rappers back when Pac was out there, but they never reached a high platform like N.W.A. Or, or Public Enemy. They never reached a platform that Pac reached in his short time period. And it was because of the way he worded things and how he presented it to you. Sometimes you have to present things with so much hostility, because if you talk about it calmly, people don't take you serious. You know what I mean? They say sometimes people or Niggas only respect violence. People only respect violence. When there's violence happening, people pay attention to it. If there's nothing going on and it's not, you know, something that's crazy, people will pass by it. And you know what I mean? And that's that and it's, it's sad, but it is true. Um I feel like Pac did more for individuals as a whole, all together. And and nobody gives him the the respect he needs. You get I, like as far as Biggie goes, Biggie was a great lyricist. He was nice. He's very versatile. I give it to him. But Biggie never spit for niggas in general. He never spit for a community. He never, he didn't stand for nothing. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, he didn't stand for anything. He was a great musician. He stood for hip hop, but he didn't stand for nothing. Pac stood for something. He gave you some type of education through his music. He taught. He was a completely different person than Biggie was. They were two different people. You know what I mean? One had a Black Panther background. Big had a background of the streets. You know what I mean? So he probably thought the things that Pac talked about was stupid. And you would get that. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, people who don't know about don't understand something wouldn't they only judge what they don't understand you understand what i'm saying um i just feel like you know like people should give pop more of a a, a a a salute you know they fucking up his movies they they doing these biopics you know they they they, they not getting stories straight um you know the man had a lot of music and he was very influential and there's no way that no rapper ain't get influenced by Pac. If they're down in him, they were influenced by him. And if they're up in him, they were influenced by him. You know, 
people are going to hate for no reason sometimes, just because it's somebody that made it somewhere where they didn't. And that's in life too. You know, you have people from afar hating. You have people that's more close to you hating than the people in the far. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's not going to be about you when you're doing something good. You know, people hate what they don't create. And it and it blows up. You know what I mean? I just feel like, um, at the end of the day, uh, people have to open up their minds a little more and just, like... Look into people more. Look into Pac. Read about him. And it's crazy because at my job the other day, somebody said to me, well, Chef said to me, he was like, he was like, if you want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. And, you know, it's crazy because when I go through YouTube and I read these comments, it's crazy not to say the fucking shit is true. If you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Do you guys know that Pac read mad books? You know what I mean? He was probably smarter than 90% of the hip hop artists here today. You know what I mean? And you, you, you can't judge him because he went through his trials and tribulations. You know what I mean? You got to understand something. People, you know, he went to a studio. He got shot up and the dudes that was there was friends with him, but nobody knew what happened. But then if you go back through the, the, the masses of the songs, Biggie was shooting the whole time. And Biggie was spitting subliminal shit the whole time. But he was doing it strategically too. He was having Kim some shots at him. You know what I'm saying? His wife did what she did for a reason. Faith, if she did fuck Pac, I can't say she did as she did. I wasn't there. But from what's being said and what's being, you know, she spent 50000 on Pac before or whatever. Everything, all the allegations, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. And, and it's right there in your face if you can look it up on YouTube. Like, I just feel like people... Need to understand when a person is being attacked like that, you go into this mode where you think strategically because you don't, your body just reacts to it. It's how we act at any time of war. So the way Pac acted, they say, you know, he blamed big. You obviously know that Pac knew more about what was going on than anybody else knew. You always get that feeling in your gut when something about to fucking pop off and niggas start surrounding you and things happen or people start moving. Your mind starts thinking. You start feeling it. You'll feel it here. And I felt he had that feeling. And that's why he pushed so hard. And he wedged and he wedged. Because he knew. Especially when you look out for somebody and they turn around and do that. Yes, he owed the man. You know what I mean? And then all the way up until when he got out of jail, you got to understand something. I wouldn't want him to do anything to get out of jail too. And for him to go with Shug Knight, I felt like maybe everything has a reason. And there's always... A good reason and a bad reason, you know what I mean? And every action has a consequence. So Pac knew what he was getting into, and he went there. He was going to make his money, give Suge his albums, and do whatever. Start you feel your nation and or whatever it was that he had going on. I don't know. I can't tell you every perspective on Pac. I wasn't there, you know what I mean? But, um, and as far as, like, you know, the Glasses Malone video, I mean, you know, I just felt like that was all put there. When you one crib, you're going to go there. A main crib, you're going to go sit in a place where you know there's a hundred bloods. It's a Tyson fight. You're by yourself, but you're there to watch the fight. When you know there's a hundred bloods there, I just don't, I'm not jacking that in, at all. It's not, it's not believable to me. I felt like that was premeditated. Things happen to give a reason. You're going to go there and you know that these dudes know that this person did something to try to take a chain or whatever the case may be. I just feel like niggas... It's just bad for niggas, like, and, and it's always a nigga on a nigga type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't think outside the box, but he put himself in that situation, and then Pac put himself in that situation. You know, down in Compton, in L.A., they really gangbanging down there, and Pac said it himself. Niggas really gangbanged down here, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he knew what could come out of what he did. He knew what his repercussions would be from his actions, but he felt he had a solid team behind him. You know what I'm saying? And Orlando, you know what I'm saying, from what I see is, you know, you can't judge every book by its cover. You can't go thinking you're going to hit any nigga and a nigga not going to respond. You know what I'm saying? Like, people respond different, and that's just the way life is. You can't always judge a book by its cover just because a nigga look clean, act nice, don't mean this motherfucker can't kill you in a heartbeat. Because, you know what I mean, real gangsters do move in silence, and that's how it it, it it happens, you know what I mean? You you the person a person could kill you that you would never expect would even be about that life. You wouldn't think he was anything, and that person could kill you quicker than the person that acts tough, you know. Um. So 
I mean, that's just what I can give on it. Um, you know what I mean? Just how I feel, man. And just seeing everybody talk so much bad shit about pocket, it 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 it, it kills me. It 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 fucks me up because it's like, damn, this man done gave y'all so much music, influenced so many people. His whole family's political. His mother's a panther. He comes from a very educational background, which 90% of the niggas do not come from. So I can understand why a bunch of niggas would hate because they don't understand it. And sometimes a lot of niggas is too slow to pick up a fucking book and read and look into things and find out facts. They rather just run with what people tell them. They, they listen. Propaganda. It's, it's like, you know, and by the time information gets to you, it's twisted, turned, fucked up. And people just sit there and they just be like... Oh, well, this what happened when you don't even know the truth yourself. You just running with what Peter told Paul and Paul told Victor. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. It's fucked up, man. But, you know, rest in peace to Tupac and rest in peace to Big and rest in peace to fucking Orlando. Why? Because I'm not part of their situation. But I do know every action has a reaction. And, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had their actions and everybody got a reaction. You know what I'm saying? My honest opinion, Biggie was just a pawn. I felt like he was a pawn, but at the same time, if you look through, he was shooting at Pac too. He was subliminally doing things. He was just a little quieter. He might not have put tracks out completely like the way Pac was, but he was doing something. And you know what I'm saying? The whole two Pacs. If Faith, if Faith had twins, she probably had two Pacs. And all this shit he was saying, just subliminally, and 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 you know, even having Kim say that shit. You know what I mean? You gotta think. Now he was moving silently. He was doing things behind the motherfucking um. Behind the behind the wall, you know what I mean. So you know, he he was a pawn, but yet he was a pawn that you know was killed for a reason. And you know, you'll never know what really happened because the shit's gonna get twisted all the way until everybody dies from the errors I'm knowing about Big and Pop. You know what I mean? And just last, people are comparing these new rappers to rappers that have paid ways. You can't put a fucking you can't put Tupac in the same uh, sentence as XXX Tatacion. They they stood for two completely different things. You can't put him there with Nipsey or you can't compare these rappers because a lot of these rappers are all you just can't do that. You you can't, you can't. Because you know, they all have different meanings and people need to stop comparing people and and, and you know while he's because it's not. You can't do that. If you read a book and you do a little bit of homework on these people, you'll see why. You know what I mean? Um, but rest in peace to Pot, rest in peace to Big, rest in peace to Orlando. But, you know, people have to stop down in Tupac. It's not... Actually, I can't even say that. People are going to down him no matter what. But if you read a book and you look into the man and see what he's about, maybe, just maybe, it'll change your perspective on him. And see the things he stood for and what he spoke about and what he tried to push out before people turned him. See, Pac didn't get evil on his own. Pac was made that way. If you got shot up five times, you got niggas shooting at you, you got this and that happening to you, everybody's a target now. Now, 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 how he said it, you want to see some macho shit? He tried and then he just went off. You know what I mean? And any nigga would feel that way if you go somewhere and niggas shoot at you and you don't know who did it, then everybody's a fucking target. And that's how it's gonna go. Niggas say he was dry snitching. Oh, he was dry snitching or he was telling, but you niggas just almost got him killed in, in, in mass of niggas. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's kind of like the sit with, 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 um, what's his name there with the color hair? Oh, uh, 6 9 You know, he running around with a bunch of homies, but niggas is fucking his girl. Getting them booked. All that slime ball shit. But didn't want to disrespect him when he start not fucking with y'all. It's fucked up how the world works, man. And it's it's crazy. Like, you know, the whole time this person that is yelling this trayway with you is fucking your baby mother. That's very disrespectful. And niggas got no respect. Niggas have never had no respect. We are the worst. Like, you don't see what niggas do with niggas. You don't see that shit in biker gangs with the white guys or or hell's angels. I mean, they might have their inner shit, but the shit niggas do with niggas, niggas, niggas just put niggas down way too much. They and we and we kill each other too much over the stupidest shit. You know what I'm saying? You got a little baby that just got killed in Albany. I'm not killed, but she was shot. 
niggas is fighting with each other. Niggas just, you know what I mean? We put we we put the outlook outsiders have on us ourselves. You can't blame white people. You can't blame the fucking Mexicans. You can't blame these yellow niggas over here. You can't blame them. You can't blame these people. You got to blame yourselves. It's us. Because everything we do, that's what people are judging us off of. And nobody wants to sit back and look at it from that perspective. It's all these crackers. Out, whoop, whoop, whoop. But when you sit back, it's like, nah, man. You just shot another nigga over something stupid. You running around doing crazy shit. Of course they're going to cast judgment and look at you a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? Even though we did come from a times where there was slavery, but that shit has turned around. Like, you don't even, they, they, white people ain't even that powerful no more. I mean, you got the government and all this shit, but as far as the street goes and communities, come on, man. We put that judgment on ourselves, man. And and people need to really sit back and read more, look into it. But I'm going to read short. It's IOA. Take it easy. Audio Jungle